we are very fortunate to have both an upper extremity robot, which works on arm and shoulder motion, and a lower extremity robot for the uh, patterns, working on patterns of gait. Both robots uh, provide uh, feedback to the patient when they are working through the activity, and the whole idea is to do repetitive, normal motion. So from a learning standpoint, it's a motor learning activity. There's quite a bit of work being done with adults who have had strokes, um, but not so much with children. So our goal is to do research uh, to learn how these robots can help children with cerebral palsy and other disabilities. Well, I think this is uh, a distinctive program that combines both lower and upper extremity programs with a motion analysis um, lab. And there are very few centers around the country that can provide that kind of integrated service to patients. So again, it's Riley in the forefront, um, state-of-the-art care, and um, an excellent way for us to help children and improve the, their functioning in life. Her left arm is the one affected, and immediately after her first session, she started trying to reach out more with her left arm and grab things which was something new. And she's really conscious of it now. She really does an excellent job. She's really improved now. Anybody who's from Indiana has a rally story. And so we want them to be the, the, the shining light, the beacon of hope to the rest of the country, and everybody else just gets in line behind her. This new robotics therapy uh, program is just the beginning. It's just scratching the edge of things that we might be able to do for children who have suffered uh, brain injuries, uh, for example, with these children with cerebral palsy, uh, to retrain their brains and their nervous pathways so that they can live a more normal physical life than they ever have before. These are things that 10 or 20 years ago weren't even thought of. And now here they are, in place, in use at Riley Hospital for Children.